Hello, my name is Dr. Brennan Beatty, and I'm an emergency physician in Austin, Texas. I often have patients present with chest pain and or shortness of breath. This, as we know, can be the result of a heart attack or acute coronary syndrome. In the urgency of getting the heart attack stopped by medications or getting the patients a cardiac cath, I only have a few minutes to explain to my patient what is happening. With that limited amount of time, I take out my iPhone and show them what is going on in real 3D. The best place to start is by looking up the app's preset views, which I can get to by tapping this icon. You'll see the views are organized by body system. By tapping the circulatory system icon here, I get a screen full of choices. Here's a 3D model of the heart and cross section that takes me right to what I want to show my patient. I start the conversation by giving my patient a visual of what the heart looks like, and I can rotate it around like this and provide both interior and exterior views. I might say something like, the heart is a muscular organ that pumps blood throughout the body through your blood vessels. Your heart needs a blood supply too. These coronary arteries here, shown in red, supply the heart muscle with blood and oxygen. Now you'll see that by highlighting a structure, in this case the right coronary artery, I get options to learn more information. You'll see here the name of the structure, both in English and Latin. The icons here are for an audio pronunciation of the term, a definition, and a list of pathologies affecting that structure. If I tap the Pathologies button, you'll see Heart Attack pop up as an option. You just tap it to get a definition of that condition. Now getting back to the patient, I'd say, you are having a heart attack, also called a myocardial infarction. Plaque has built up inside your coronary arteries over time, and today a clot has formed in one part. Blood can't reach some parts of the heart. This means that part of your heart muscle is beginning to die because it isn't getting enough oxygen. I want my patient to see what an MI actually looks like so he or she can better understand the anatomy of their chest pain or shortness of breath. So I tap the Atlas icon to get more options. By clicking this media icon, you come to a menu of animation packs. Just select circulatory and respiratory system pathologies, and here is the MI pathology animation. Now I'll take my patient back to the view of the heart to talk about the next steps. I would say, here you can see arteries in the heart where a clot has formed. We already gave you some aspirin, which prevents further clotting, but we need to open up that artery so the heart muscle gets enough blood and oxygen. Next you'll see the cardiologist who's going to do a procedure called an angioplasty, in which a wire and balloon will be placed inside your artery to stretch it open and hopefully remove the clot. Thanks for joining me today to see how easily we can use this technology to educate our patients, and welcome to the future of medicine.